Yeah. I mean, what do you think would be the most important thing to know about the travel industry as a designer? Um, that's a good question, actually. I mean, I've only, I've seen it from a few different sides. So the first was at the Flight Center Group is, uh, it's a very old company. So it's 40 years old, started by a guy who used to, um, you know, fix up old school buses and take people on um, tours from London to Morocco. And uh, then he started the company back in Australia and went from there and then worked in the retail space. Um, the reason I say that is it's actually a really old industry and a lot of the systems that are in place that actually source the availability. So that's, you know, the, the rooms that are available to sell and the way all these properties operate. It's, it's been around for a long time. And I think it's, it's been a bit of an awkward transition into the online space where well, a lot of this stuff's become a lot more commodified because back in the old days, you might've gone and booked at the property directly or called them up on the phone or looked in the Lonely Planet guidebook. But now it's a very different space. I think some, some properties really adapt it and really get it and offer things that are really beneficial to consumers. Like Citizen M is amazing as a, as a hotel chain. Yeah. But then there's a lot of other older ones that maybe haven't adapted as well. And some of them are getting phased out. So I'd say, yeah, that's, that's what I'd say is like the thing to keep in mind with it is it, it's, it's a very, there's a lot of legacy technology there. And I'd say similar with flights too. I mean, the, the systems that flights work on, like a lot of these go back to the sixties and they just got all capitals tax, like these global distribution systems that actually connect the flight booking websites to the, um, I'm not trying to say the airlines. Yeah. So yeah, just a lot of the backend tech and the way these businesses operate is just really, really old school. So there's, there's a lot of challenges there just on, on the operational side of things. I think Dealing that's with where legacy tech and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I think just also just, just improving the efficiencies as well. It's just, um, it's probably not as good as it could be. There's a lot of opportunity there to improve like how the industry operates. Yeah, Thank you for listening to today's episode of Design Huddle. The opinions expressed are solely our own and do not express the views or opinions of our employer.